Hi, Mark Simon here again, author of Storyboards Motion Art. But the reason I'm here now is to help you with how to storyboard some special effects using this software. So to make it as easy as possible for you to get across the information you need to the rest of your production. What I've done here is I've replicated a real rough sketch of a board I'd done. Years ago I was working with Steven Spielberg on his TV series Sequest DSV. And on that we had one, one episode where we had these big bipedal robots that were roaming through um, that were roaming through this downtown area. We shot all, all of this was shot on location in central Florida. Well, for the effects boards, there were a few different things I was getting across on these. Information is key, and I'm going to show you a couple little tips here that'll help help you get across the information that you need. Well, in this case, as I was sketching this out, I kept the robot on a separate layer. I just added a layer here. I named it robot, so I knew what it was, and I sketched it really quickly. Now, this robot. In the production, was moving right behind these buildings downtown. Now we did this a long time ago. In order to save time and production money, we need to make sure that we had a clean mat line. Now a mat line is a line that we can put in in the compositing that a that a character in 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 this instance, this robot, would not pass would not go in front of. So. They could animate the character and make it look like he's behind the buildings. Now, where there were some trees, which you'll see, you see a tiny little tree sketched in here, we needed to make sure that when the cameraman set it, that the tops of the trees did not go above the tops of the buildings, because then it would have been rotoscoping every frame. Well, we didn't have time or money for that. We needed to just set the mat line once for the entire scene. So here's some of the things I would do, and I'm going to kind of step you through some of this. First of all, I'm going to put a lot of notes on here, but I like the notes being off to the side. So let's make this frame a little smaller. Hit the space bar, gives me the hand, and I can move it off to the side so it gives me time to work. Make sense? Just like Photoshop and some other programs that you're used to. So using my drawing tool, I am now, well, I'm going to add a layer, so let's start with that. Add a layer called Notes. I'm going to keep that up on top, grab my pen, and I'm going to make my notes in a blue just so they look a little bit different. And I'm going to make a note drawing from that tree. Do not let tree cross mat line. Okay? So now once we figured this out, because I was scouting this location with the director and the special effects guys, they said, oh, this is something we need to watch for. Well, if you have that information as storyboard artists, you need to be able to give that to the rest of the production. And that's where the blueprints of production, which are your storyboards, really come in handy. Another thing that I would do is, so that we knew where the mat line was, is I would actually trace over it. But now, using Storyboard Pro, I can do it in a color, which we weren't duplicating in color back then. So I would make that a big, thick, bold line, and I would just label it. Matte line. Now there's some other things that would happen too. So I'm going to change color just so, it, just so it really shows. There was a cable going across. Well, this is supposed to take place in the future where they wouldn't have hanging cables. At least that was the premise of this episode. So I'd mark that cable and I would draw a line off to the side and I would put remove cable in post or I would write paint out cable or something like that, whatever we needed to. Again, that's information that came to me during production. So I need to make sure that everyone in post production knows what's happening as well. The thing about putting the notes off to the side is if you want a clean version of this, you just turn it off. And now you see the nice clean frame and that works beautifully. Now when you go to export, there's a couple little tips for you. Since, this, since my notes here are outside the drawing frame, we need to make sure when we go to export to PDF, I'm going to export this panel as a, as a, full, as a full page. 
and I'm going to go to my storyboard panel and I'm going to set my image zoom down to 65%. What that does is in the area in the export that is, that is set for the picture, it's going to reduce the picture down enough to leave room to show all my notes. I'll click OK here. Everything looks fine. I'll click export. It quickly exported it. The information here will come up when you first open up the file you see in the other videos, in uh, the other help files. This is the title and whatever, uh, whatever other information you have here will pop up automatically. And there's the storyboard frame. So it shows my mat line, everything's in color, don't cross the mat line, remove cable and post. All the information I need production to know is right there. Now when you're working on these things, to be able to show how the different effects work, you can also show how the different elements are by just turning on and off layers, and that helps explain things to people. You can use the animatic portion of this software and actually animate something, even if it's, uh, you know, on a lot of DVDs, you'll often see when they're putting a, an effect together, show the different layers. Here's the actual piece, and here's this effect, and here's these things, and you can see it build. You can actually do the same thing either in layers or in subsequent frames and watch something build and make your own how-to on effects. Whatever it takes for you to get the information across the rest of production, that's what's going to be important and helpful. Hopefully this helps you out, and now you can do even better effects and help production save time and money. Take care, we'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.